Well, police are searching for two men they say robbed an 82-year-old woman in her own home. She woke up to see the masked suspects in her bedroom pointing a gun at her. It happened on Mallard Court in Currituck County. The thieves tried to steal a very large safe, but after seven hours, they couldn't figure out how to move or open it. What they did next may have actually saved the woman's life. Turn on your sides, Aaron Kelly joins us to explain. Aaron. Well, they did uh, tell her to go to a bank, and when she went to the bank, someone became suspicious and then called deputies. Now, we have been in this neighborhood all day. We've seen several vehicles from the Sheriff's Department patrolling, and neighbors tell us this is a waterfront community where everyone keeps their windows open, unlocked, where they usually feel safe. Not anymore. You want me to carry it? You want me to carry this? Kelly Brinkley won't let her kids out of her sight. The day after a break-in just blocks away. Terrified. Definitely brought my kids into my bed. <laughs> that way they could be right there with me. The Currituck County Sheriff's Department says two suspects broke into a home on Mallard Court in Grandy at 1 a.m. on Thursday. They say the suspects woke up an 82-year-old woman at gunpoint and tried to steal her safe. They couldn't move it, so they tried to drill and saw into it. It can't happen in this close, never this close to home. Deputies say that didn't work, and the suspects threatened to kill the woman and forced her to go to a bank seven hours later when it opened. Someone there became suspicious and called deputies. It's not clear where the suspects went after that. I'm surprised at this, really. It really I'm glad they didn't hurt her, you know, shoot her, because they, it's four of the guys. Brinkley says her family won't feel safe until the suspects are caught but it must be worse for her neighbor. She's gonna live in fear now. And that's, just, that's the worst part of it. Do you know that that woman is okay tonight? She declined to talk to us. Uh, but something, uh, some things about the suspects here. We know that there were two people inside the home and possibly two people outside of the home uh, as lookouts that the sheriff department is now looking for. We know they were wearing masks and the sheriff believes they may have known that there was a safe inside and that they targeted the house. Live in Kirtuck County, Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.